My past life, I was a hairdresser because, I mean, I love doing hair and Kristen S. has me hooked up. Like, she's got, I've got everything now. I've got everything. Like, I've got combs. Oh my God. Great show uh, uh, last week or yesterday. Uh, uh, really beautiful stuff. Today was a pretty short day because we have the director, Pam Fryman. The OG is back in the house. OG. What's really cool is that she's actually also directing Carol's second act. So I'm okay, you guys, I am adulting so hard right now. I got so excited because I just got my new tableware. I'm really into ceramics right now, like I said in the past, and these are so beautiful. I am dying over them. Like, I love how earthy they are. They are so cool. Our kitchen is gonna be like a French bistro. I am in love. This guy. Yeah. I don't know, still. No. You think I'm the coolest, right? Hey guys, I love my top today. It's by Rails, so cute. Um, but I just got done with work and it's the weekend and I'm excited. Um, I just wanted to say, I am so excited for you guys to see Mary Happy Whatever. Um, I just think it's like something that you guys are not gonna expect. It's a comedy, but it has like a lot of depth to it. So it's been so fulfilling to play this role. Playing Kayla has been so much fun, and there's so many layers to her. You're gonna think you know her, but you really don't. And I just like haven't had a role like this in a really long time, so I'm really excited for everybody. Just roles like this don't really come often, and um, and also the cast is so amazing. They like they're all my best friends. Dennis Quaid is by far one of the nicest people ever, and. Um, um, yeah, the writing and everything, it just all works and it's so good and I'm so proud of it. I don't think, I don't know, I'm just like, I'm, I'm really proud of myself, I have to say. So I'm just really excited for you guys to see it and I'm super excited because now I'm going to be heading over to my CBS show, Carol's Second Act with Patricia Heaton and that's going to be very exciting um, to jump into another character. But, uh, but yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much and I can't wait for you to see it. Carol Second Act is coming in September and Mary Happy Whatever is coming in November. You know you love your cast when you guys hang out after work to go get some dinner. Look at that sun flare. <laughs> Last scene for Emmy and Kayla together by themselves. Sister! Sister! <laughs> Jay! <laughs> it's your birthday! It's your birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday!
Hey ladies, thinking about trying a new form of birth control pill or exploring it for the first time? Well then you're in luck because I've teamed up with Allergan, the maker of Lolo Estrin FE, or Lolo for short, to encourage you all to make informed decisions about pregnancy prevention. I know that new relationships can take some getting used to, so I'm here as a woman who knows to help share what I've learned. The most important thing that you can do is chat with your healthcare provider about side effects and serious risks associated with birth control pills. Read about it on screen and swipe up to learn more. So I'm a millennial and I was shocked to hear that it's been reported that nine out of 10 millennials avoid going to the doctor. Do you believe that? Yep, you read that right. Pretty wild, huh? The best thing I did was set up regular appointments with my healthcare provider because even as a woman who knows, I don't know everything when it comes to birth control pills, like who shouldn't take them, for example. I always tell other women that there's nothing like going straight to an expert to make sure the info you're getting is trustworthy. Especially if you have a question like, what available birth control pill has the lowest amount of daily estrogen? Through this partnership, I've learned that Lolo is the only available birth control pill that provides pregnancy prevention with the lowest daily dose of estrogen. Ready to call yourself a woman who knows? Then research your options, including swiping up to learn more about Lolo, the number one prescribed birth control pill by OBGYNs, and reach out to your healthcare provider. And just as a reminder, birth control pills are not for everyone. There are serious risks with the pill and smoking increases these risks. So make sure you talk to your healthcare provider to find out if birth control pills like Lolo Estrin FE are appropriate for you. Click the Lolo Estrin FE PI tag to get another look at the full product information, including boxed warning and patient information. The shoes are not your toys. Ziggy? Ziggy? The shoes are not your toys. 
Jen is saying how me and Ziggy match right now. I guess it's true. A sweatshirt, a pants. Match, Ziggy. She's excited. Just love seeing my hair outside. <laughs> Don't you, Joseph? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the views, though. Text me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. I'm like, oh, hey, fuck. Holy shit, Ashley Tate says, Oh, you're, I'm talking to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Are you just that surprised that you get to work with me every day? Listen, uh, it's early, and I had a really crazy weekend. <laughs> JL is showing us his dance moves. Sabrina is like not into it. <laughs> it's a little gay. 